and your friends and welcome back to another video so if you're new here my name is Juhi currently a second year dental student studying at the University of Heidelberg and right now I'm on my way to my physio seminar but to be very honest I don't know exactly where this room is but one really good thing about studying at Heidelberg is that most of our lectures, seminars and labs are kind of spread out throughout the university in different buildings but in our campus lots of our buildings are kind of all together. If you get lost like me, you can still run to the next building without being too late to your classes because I know in most other Germanys the buildings are kind of spread out throughout the city whereas in our university it's just on one campus. And also one really good thing is that we have these maps like everywhere around the university campus so if you ever get lost then you can still find a way. I think we found our building. Looking at your sideways, party on tilt. Ooh, certain things you just can't refuse. She wanna ride me like a cruise, and I'm not trying to lose. Then you're left in the dust, unless I stuck by ya. You're a sunflower. I think your love will be too much, or you'll be left. Give me reason to every time I'm walking out, I can hear you telling me to turn around. Fighting for my trust, and you won't back down. Even if we gotta risk it all right now. I know it's gonna ausstattung an and halt and you'll be left in the dust unless I stuck by you. You're the sunflower. We had lunch at the Gilbert and our school cafe. It was like curry, and now we're at the library to be productive. And we stole a banana. I used to say guard again, guard again, because I never knew if it was a C or a G. Yeah. Good, actually, yeah. yeah. I feel like I got some stuff. Um, so, Luisa, do you want to talk about our, yeah. upcoming, our <laughs> upcoming library? Okay, so this is our soon to be new library because our current library on our campus is known as very old. So if you ever visit Heidelberg and you want to go to a uni library then we suggest the one in Altstadt because there yeah, the library is really nice. It's yeah. yeah. Um and yeah Louisa, is there anything that you like about our campus? What's your favorite feature? <laughs> Hello Adia. What are you doing here? Uh, just meeting another Indian guy. Uh, just meeting another Indian guy. This is Luisa. Luisa. Adia. 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 Luisa. Nice to meet you. Nice. Normally we speak in German, but today's an exception. I'm practicing my English. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, you'll find people who speak English on our campus too. Did you have, you have a seminar? Have this late? <laughs> it's the Klinische ITS seminar. In the seminar, yeah. Okay. Kind of like mm -hmm. our uh, like, physio seminar, but 
just referata order? Yeah. Or does the prof also repeat what you the guys say? The prof repeats, but for like 15 minutes. Like mm. then it's back to... Could you explain a little bit what ETS is? ETS is Seminar with the okay. Referate von Studenten. Mm -hmm. It's a and German it's, English mix. Yeah, and it's only for Humanis, so basically yeah. for den medical students and not for not for us dental not students. For. Yeah. Lucky. She's saying this, but deep down inside, Adia really likes ETS sessions. <laughs> sure, yes, I know, yes. Hey guys, so I'm currently on my way back home. To be honest, I'm actually almost home in like three minutes, actually. My friend and I, we spend a few hours, I think like two to three hours in the uni library, just finishing off some work, doing some studying. But to be honest, I didn't actually really want to go to the library because I was kind of tired, especially after eating the massive curry. And I just got so exhausted from the day. But I reckon that, you know, doing a little bit is always going to be better than doing nothing at all. So my friend was very kind enough to come with me to the library. I think, like nowadays, I'm trying to instill this mindset of building small habits and doing them consistently every day. Okay, now I'm finally back home, guys. And of course, I brought this banana from our uni's cafeteria. It's currently like 5.30 p.m.-ish, so it's a bit too early for dinner. But I am feeling a little bit hungry, so I think, yeah, eating this banana won't hurt. But yeah, like I was saying before, I don't know, but right now I feel like I'm in the study slump because I don't feel like my motivation or any discipline in me <laughs> in terms of studying. Maybe because everything is becoming so mundane, if that makes sense. Because I wake up, I have breaky, and then I go to uni, and then I spend most of my time at uni, come home, and shower, eat dinner, and then do some extra studying, and then go to sleep. And it's the same thing over and over again. Maybe that's why I feel like I'm going into a slump because I'm becoming bored with studying or maybe I just I don't know I feel like because my state exam so in Germany if you're a dental student you have to do state exams it's basically a massive massive exam that you take at our university in Heidelberg you take it at the end of your second year as well as at the end of your third year and at the end of your fifth year I believe you have to pass them if you want to continue your degree and if you want to become a licensed dentist um, in Germany so yeah, I have those exams coming up in a couple of months, so I feel like, yeah, the stress is slowly creeping up on me. It's kind of backfiring on me, so I'm kind of doing the opposite of what I have to do, which is basically to study and to prepare myself. But I think, you know, with time, it will get better, I hope. Right now, I'm basically just focusing on just building small good habits, whether that be waking up and drinking a cup of water or coming back home and then studying or perhaps just going for a walk, you know, as a study break, because normally I just kind of sit in my chair and not move. Um, but yeah, I feel, I feel like just taking small action, doing them over a longer period of time consistently will compound to very, very large effects. Because I remember I was reading this article and it was saying how like, if you want to look back on your life when you're on your deathbed later on and say to yourself, wow, I lived a very happy and good life, then try to take actions every single day that make you happy. And then overall, at the end, you'll look back on your life and say, wow, you know, I lived a very happy life. And I know that sounds quite simple and quite obvious, but I feel like nowadays, in the world we're living in, everything is sometimes so fast paced, so go, go, go. And we sometimes tend to not really focus a lot on the small kind of things that bring us joy. And sometimes simple does not mean it's easy. And I know it may not seem quite obvious whilst you're taking the actions, whilst you're in the process, but all good things take time. Yeah, I'm kind of very hungry right now. I'm gonna chuck this banana down and then I don't know if I will end up studying then please let me know you know comment below because I'd love to know what you guys do or how you guys get out of a study rut. Yeah I hope you guys have a fantastic day, night, morning, wherever you are. Six years and only couple days since you left here. Six years and only a couple days since you